All right, in this video, what we're doing is we're just going to mix these two solutions together, uh, and we want to make a buffer and find out what its pH is. So first of all, let's figure out how many mole or how many moles of these um, we have. You know, just to kind of wrap our heads around this. So first of all, let's do our acetic acid here. We know that we have 0.1 moles per liter times 0.5 liters. That's going to give us 0.05 moles <laughs> moles of acetic acid. Okay, cool. So let's do the next one. We know we have 0 0.2 molar uh, moles per liter times 0 0.2 liters. And that's going to give us 0 0.04 moles of NaOH. Okay, cool. So now that we just have that kind of written down somewhere, we you know know what's going on. Um, and so let's write the chemical reaction or the chemical equation for this. So basically we're pouring them in together into the same beaker and they're going to react with each other. So we can say we'll have NaOH plus CH3COOH and something's going to happen here. We know that because this is a strong base that's going to definitely dissociate totally. and we know that this H here also likes to kind of just float away on us. So this H is going to pair up with this OH and we're going to get plus H2O and the rest of everything else is going to pair up too so we'll get NaCH3COO. Okay cool. So now we can see that this is all in a one-to-one -one ratio. We're mixing one of these with one of these to get one of everything else. So let's go ahead and um, Let's make an ice table for this. Initial concentration, change in concentration, and we're going to find our equilibrium concentrations. So let's look at this. We know that if this is a one-to-one -one uh, one -one, um, mole ratio, we have different numbers of moles, though. So one of these is going to be our limiting reactant, and it will be this one for sure. This is our NaOH, is our limiting reactant. Here, we'll just write that. And remember, that was NaOH. So uh, that means that we can only react 0 0.4 moles um, of NaOH with 0 .4, 0 0.4 moles of acetic acid. So first of all, let's write down the initial concentrations. Um, or in this case, this is all ratios, right? So let's just use the moles. It'll be a little bit easier for us because we have those numbers already. So our number of moles initially for NaOH is 0 0.04. For acetic was 0.05, H2O is a pure liquid, so we don't want to look at that, and this one was 0. So we know that our change, we can get rid of 0.04 moles here, we can get rid of 0.04 moles here, and we can add 0.04 moles here, and this will give us uh, 0 in the end for equilibrium. Uh, this will be 0.1 moles, that's a 1 and this will be 0 0.04 moles. Now what we can do is we can use our henderson hasselbach equation uh, which was pH is equal to pKa um, plus the log of, uh, in the equation it's the concentrations of the conjugate base which we write A over the weak acid which we write HA. Um, now in this case we can have to use the concentrations but uh, it's unnecessary to switch to concentrations because the ratios between the mo number of moles and the concentrations will be exactly the same. So for our purposes we can just use the number of moles and it won't actually change the answer because it's just a ratio. So let's keep going. We have the pH. Um, we've done this so many times now we know that the pKa of acetic acid is, we'll say, 4.74. Remember, that's the negative log of the Ka, uh, just in case you forget, and the Ka of acetic acid is 1.8 times 10 to negative 5. Okay, so anyways, we'll keep going and say that this is plus the log of, here we can write this like this, and now let's look at this. So our our weak acid initially, 0 0.1, or sorry, at equilibrium is 0 0.1. So we can write that down here on the bottom as 0 0.01, I'm sorry. 
And our conjugate base here, we can see ignore the Na. This is just pretty much actually a spectator ion. If we wanted to, we could just you know ignore that's even there. Um, and we're looking at this at an equilibrium. We're going to have 0 0.04 moles. 0 0.04. And the units would cancel it anyways if it's moles or moles per liter. All right, so 0 0.04 divided by 0 0.01. Um, this is the same thing as um, 4.74. 4.74 plus the log of 4. Same thing, this is equal to our pH. And if we do that, that's equal to about plus uh, 0.602. All right, and so then that's going to give us, when we add these two together, uh, that'll give us our final answer of the pH of this buffer solution pH will be equal to 5.34.